Is this a ghost plant? No, it's Mexican giant. Is this a ghost plant? That looks very ghostly to me. No, it's an Echeveria cante. Well, is this a ghost plant? No, it's Pachyveria powder puff. It's also white and very ghostly looking. What about that one? Is that a ghost plant? Yes, it's a very, very big ghost plant. <laughs> this is Graptopetalum paraguayensi. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. The leaves on this one, so let's take one of the biggest, longest, backs, the ones in the back, the backs, is about three inches long, but probably three and a half inches long. And the whole plant itself, look, my hand, and it's just wrong time of the day to do a video, but it doesn't matter. So this one is quite a big plant, so it's almost like eight inches across from the widest point of the leaf to the, from tip to the other tip. So these ones here are Graptopetalum paraguayensi that are growing in this pot. And even this one is quite big. So this is afternoon sun. It's hitting it and you can see that it's sort of green. Basically, when there's no sun, that is the color or what it looks like and on the other side here the biggest one of course so basically that's what happens but of course when the sun's shining against it there you go it looks very similar to a ghosty so that's probably where the confusion comes in grab to see them ghosty okay gonna move it over here is a smaller plant overall so that is Paraguayensi, and that one on the right is Ghosty. So this one on the left, the Ghost, is still bigger than the Ghosty on the right. So this is Graptopetalum Paraguayensi here, like grown small because it's in a pot. But now if you put it next to Graptocidum Ghosty, you can really tell the difference that this one is Paraguayensi, and the one on the right is Ghosty. Graptocidum Ghosty actually looks prettier to me anyway. <laughs> it looks prettier than the Graptopetalum Paraguayensi ghost plant. So ghost plant, Ghosty. The same shape and the leaves is as thick as well as a small grown ghost plant. So that's why, okay, if I'm going to go on the side here, so you can see the leaves, it's, it's the same. It's basically the same size. So it just depends how it's grown. And if you grow, so these arrangements here, or these plants that are in here, all look very ghostly to me. Can you tell which is which? Which one is which? Because there's a few different ones. There's about four different types of ghostly looking plants in here. So this one here, which to me looks more ghostly, uh, ghostly, yes, on all of them. This is Graptoveria tricolor. So it's beautiful. The It's more like white, very porcelain looking. So these ones are the same plant, but this one is older than that one. So I'll just take this out. Hang on, don't come off. Okay. The one on the right is a younger plant and the one on the left, which is this one, is an older plant. So they're the same. They're the same. Grab to vary a tricolor, but yet it looks like different plants. Based on the shape, you can tell that it's the same plant, but because of the age, they look somewhat different. The one on the left is much prettier. This is a Cheveria Silver Star that looks very similar to Graptoveria Tricolor because the center is also pink and the overall leaf coloration is very much the same as this Tricolor. Now this Tricolor is more pink compared to, just hang on, I'll just get this out. 
So this is still, the one on the right is still a pretty young tricolor. As a tricolor gets older, it looks more pink like this one on the left. More beautiful. But this one on the right uh, is still pretty young. So this on the left is about, hang on. Well, there you go. So tri grab the very tricolor, the 16th of November, 2018. So that would be almost three years. Hang on around two years and four months and this one is a younger one this one on the left is a year and a half old but the difference in the color is that this is more beautiful grab the Petanum paraguayensi ghost plant so this is a pot grown with less soil it will become more compact but if planted with a lot of soil even though this is an inner pot because of the bottom of the pot is quite large or it's a fat big belly pot that it bellies out that's why the plant has more access to water so even though it's planted in a small neck pot you think it's only have a bit of soil but it has a lot of soil and that's why the plant is big now this one on the other side that's why it's super big because it's planted in this pot with access to a lot of soil now this one here are the compact plants this is Graptoveria, this is a cowlis, Graptoveria cowlis, and this a cowlis is very pink. If I compare this with the ghost plant, she's also like a ghost plant, but the color looks like a cross between Paraguayensi and Tricolor. But you can see that the shape of the leaves are different to the Tricolor. She's just a little bit skinny compared to the tricolor. So this is where the confusion comes in since there's so many different plants that look similar. So that is the problem. So here in Australia, most people take for granted uh, the ghost plant or Graptopetanum paraguayensi plant because she's very fast growing and so easy to look after. She basically can grow from a leaf or cutting, but it grows fastest with cutting. So this one here, I basically started with three cuttings. So let's take a peek. So there's one, two, three, three plants that I planted here. And there are two single, uh, and these two are still single. And the other one, so this is the oldest one of this group. That's the mummy of the group. Now uh, she has babies. So coming from just one stem cutting, three or all together has now become four plants. These two are both ghost plant, but you can see they both look different. These are the growth differences. The pink one lives on top. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon and she's still getting some sun. And this one in the bottom, that's why she's green because she's not getting any sun. She only gets sun in the afternoon. This other one experiences morning sun, midday sun and afternoon sun. And this in the bottom only experiences partial midday sun and afternoon sun. Now I'm going to take this and compare it to the ghosty. And you're going to say that this, that this Paraguayansi ghost plant on the right is a ghosty. Now this ghosty, once it's matured, eventually it, the look will change. Now this ghosty, once mature, will look similar to... Now the one in the bottom is ghosty. So so pink and so fat. Now the one on top is still green because it's still young. So we're going to compare when it's old and grown in the full sun and open to the element, it turns pink. But this green one, the big plant is still a baby plant. Now the pink one is about four years old. So that's the difference between ghost and ghosty. This one is at a very later gray. She also looks like a tricolor, but slightly different because she's a little bit fatter. So that is why, since there's so much variety of hybrids, it's hard to tell. And this ghosty, I have to put it back here so that where I put this ghosty, she hardly gets any direct sunlight. Now this ghost plant here belongs to 
this spot over here so it gets morning sun midday sun but no afternoon sun so it really depends where you put your plant as to the look of your ghost or ghosty and this bluish looking tricolor will go back to its shady spot she hardly gets any sun in here and this really pink one belongs in here. I'll just take this other plant here. This is where she grows and that's why she's so pink because she gets plenty of direct sunlight. And this machete will have to go back here. So that's it. I hope I gave you some idea with regards to the differences of ghost plant or ghost or ghosty. But for me personally, if I have to choose between ghost or ghosty, for me, I prefer the most beautiful ghost of all. Now, wait a minute. I think it's the Kante. But then again, this is prettier because it's fat. Wait a minute. Now you see. Why are you, which one are you going to choose? Mexican Giant or Kante over there?